Hello ladies, gentlemen, and everybody else watching, my name's Eric, and welcome back to a brand new video here on the Bioshock Hub. So for the last couple of days, there's been a rumor going around that Bioshock 4, or whatever the new title of the next installment of the Bioshock series will be, is going to be an exclusive on the PS5. Now, I personally don't believe that that's going to happen. 2K would lose out on a ton of money, and the only way that I could see this actually happening is if Sony hands out boatloads of cash for Bioshock to be a PS5 exclusive. So let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below. However, we have a Game Rant article diving a little bit more in depth as to this rumor, the lengths of it, the specifics, etc. So I'll leave it down in the description as always. And again, keep this and take this with a grain of salt. So, with that being said, sit back, relax, and let's get into this article. Now, the article states the following. According to an industry insider, there's a chance that the upcoming Bioshock 4, or new Bioshock, video game will be an exclusive to PS5. When the original Bioshock game launched in 2007, it was an Xbox 360 exclusive, and I do remember that. The OG Bioshock eventually made its way to other platforms, though, and future entries in the series were multi-platform right off the bat. However, a new rumor suggests that the upcoming Bioshock game may be returning the franchise to its time-exclusive ways, as it seems the game may be winding up on the PlayStation 5. According to Xbox Era Podcast, as spotted by DualShockers, it's possible that Bioshock 4 will be a PS5 exclusive, either timed or fully. Fans should take this information with a grain of salt like I told you at the beginning, though it is worth pointing out that some legitimate leaks have come from Xbox Era and its hosts in the past. Regardless if this is true, it will likely be proven to be a controversial decision on the part of 2K Games, as Bioshock fans on Xbox will likely be upset. And that's what I said at the beginning, I just don't see it happening, personally. That's just me. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Now it states the following. Quote, but fans shouldn't get too worked up just yet. It's true that Sony has penned a variety of timed exclusive deals for the PlayStation 5 with third parties, as evident by Final Fantasy 16's PS5 exclusivity and others, but it's also and always possible that Xbox era's information is off, hence take the article and take the rumors with a grain of salt. It's also possible that this deal isn't even the works at all. Since there is so little known about Bioshock 4 at this point, Fans should just stand by for more official information, and that's kind of what I've been saying for a while as well, and I know I personally want information from either Cloud Chamber, Take-Two, or 2K. Hopefully we'll get that at E3, but time will tell for that one. Beyond the fact that Bioshock 4 is currently in development by Cloud Chamber, there is pretty much next to nothing that's known about the game, and that's what sucks. There's plenty of speculation about what it might entail and if it will be returning to previous settings like Rapture or Columbia, which I don't think it will. But at the same time, there's nothing concrete that has been shown to date. However, some Bioshock 4 job listings have potentially revealed a few details about what fans can expect from the game. According to job listings, it seems Bioshock 4 will have more RPG elements with a Fallout-style dialogue system. Other job listings suggest that Bioshock 4 may even be an open world game, which I wouldn't mind at all, it's just I want a good setting if that makes sense to explore. Which will be quite the departure from previous entries that, while having an open environment for players to explore, were still very linear in nature. And of course, plenty of things can change during game development. And so, it's also possible that these particular aspects of Bioshock 4 won't make it into the final product so fans should keep that in mind as well, and I totally agree with that one. Something less likely to change though is the engine that Bioshock 4 is being built with. Job listings point to Bioshock 4 using Unreal Engine 5, which means that the game will likely be skipping PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, though that was expected anyway. Ultimately, fans will need to wait for an official reveal of Bioshock 4, or, in my personal opinion, more information to come out from the three that I mentioned. Take Two, 2K, and Cloud Chamber. So ladies, gentlemen, and everybody else watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoyed this little update. 
Last thing I want to say before I go is I do apologize for taking quite a long break. I needed to reset a lot of things. So thank you for being patient with me. And also thank you for 27,000 subs. We're so close to that 30,000 sub mark and I cannot wait for that. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video and want to see more, would you kindly hit that subscribe button and hit that like button if you want? You don't have to. It's completely up to you. Also, if you want to stay up to date with every upload or live stream that I do, consider turning on post notifications because YouTube can be a little wonky sometimes. So that'll help you out and it helps me out as well. If you want to stay up to date with me outside of YouTube, my social medias and my Discord and other stuff like that will be in the description for you guys to check out. I'd highly recommend joining the Rapture family. I'd greatly appreciate that and I'd love having you here. So thank you. With that being said, thank you all so very much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and I will talk to you all in the next one.